Hello my friends and it's another short one a day video from me Steve England Outdoor Learning. I'm giving Teddy his one a day walk and I'm here at the Froome Valley. As you can see Teddy's making the most of it. Anyway guys I've just seen something really interesting that I've often spoken about and a lot of people have messaged me about this particular plant so I thought I'm going to film this video for you. I'll turn the camera around guys. You see this cliff edge here if I could call it a cliff edge but there's a whole host of different mixed plant life in here and look at what I can see first of all look what I've just spotted guys whoa these are raspberry canes and they have flower buds on them which means they're going to produce fruit later on in the season that's certainly one that I will be keeping my eye on for a bit later on but that's not what I wanted to talk about what I want to talk about is this plant here guys at a first glance looks look look looks like a three-leaf clover but it's actually not can you see the white flowers on there you see them there they look like three-leaf clovers well these are the edible wood sorrels and they are amazingly tasty I'm gonna get one and taste it for you guys now I know that a lot of I should have been running a, a wild food foraging course here at the Froome called Foods of the Froome but unfortunately I've had to postpone it so I'm gonna bring the Foods of the Froome to you guys through your screens okay so this is the edible wood sorrel you can see they look like three leaf clovers oh it's got a really nice citric tang to it like apple peel that's amazing taste like lemon and the reason why it tastes like that because it say it shares the same acid as rhubarb oxalic acid and it tastes like um, apple peel. It's really nice, really nice in salads. Unbelievable. So I'll turn the camera around, guys. You see it there. So you get this in shady woodlands, you tend to find this. But you need to look for the white flowers there. You see the white flowers there. But whilst I'm here, I've also seen another plant. A lot of people have been messaging me saying that they've got flies in their house. And what can they do about it? Well, when I was a kid, my parents used to spray fly killer from a big yellow can like a nuclear blast of vapors and you know you're struggling to breathe but there are plants that you can use that are a natural insect repellent and this is one of them can you see the red hairy stems on there guys you should have this in your gardens this is called a herb herb rubber or wild geranium it's a wild geranium and if you break it and crush the stems up and put these on a dish and if you leave them on a on a in a dish on your shelves, they'll ward off flies, and so will sprigs of elderflower trees, and also a plant called mugwort as well. There are three plants that are traditionally used as an insect repellent, so it's worth having a go at this, guys. But it just demonstrates, doesn't it, the foods of the fruit and the uses of plants. There's, they've got so many uses, whether they're edible or as an insect repellent or whatever. But the common wood sorrel, guys, in your wooded areas, look for the white flowers, three-leaf clovers. So um, the only ones you're going to mistake them for, really, are three-leaf clovers and another plant family, oxalis, which you'll get in your gardens. Uh, but they tend to be purple, purple leaves. Um, sorry, excuse me a minute. Teddy's interrupting me. Look what he's doing. What? He's, he's smelt a wood mouse or something. Teddy? Teddy, Teddy, can you not photobomb? Teddy, thank you. Off you go. Good boy. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Wait. That dog is so needy for attention. It's unbelievable. Anyway, guys, so that's my one a day. Common wood sorrel. Herb robber as an insect repellent. Anyway, guys, I hope you're all safe. If you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, just Google Steve England on YouTube. You'll get updates of all my short videos and also um, if you like my Steve England Outdoor Learning Facebook page um, I'll be posting regular updates on various things there guys anyway I hope you're safe and I'll see you soon common wood sorrel edible and good